Hey, at the Peter Gerace trial, prosecutors began to shift their focus from the sex trafficking charges faced by the Pharaoh's strip club owner to various other accounts. These would include allegations of drug trafficking and witness tampering. We get the latest from Channel 2's Dave McKinley. Dave? Mary Alice, there's been a common theme among most of the roughly half dozen former Pharaoh's dancers who've testified thus far that they chose to work there, that they did it for fast money, and that they needed that money to feed a drug addiction. Durace is accused of operating Pharaohs as a drug involved premises and preying on the addictions of dancers there to coerce them into performing sex acts for friends and high paying customers. Jurors heard testimony from another former dancer about her addiction and how it controlled her decisions. The addiction is definitely taking the lead and is in control, is how she put it. But under cross examination from attorney Eric Sainline, she admitted she used drugs prior to working at Pharaohs and continued after she left. Her memory cloudy. She also admitted that even though she's now pregnant, she used heroin less than two weeks ago, including the day she met with federal prosecutors to prepare for her testimony. Another former stripper had an entirely different story. She went to work at Pharaoh's at age 19 and on her first night made close to $2,000. On her second night there, she says she met Peter Gerace, who she says offered to buy her a drink. She says she reminded him she was under 21. He told me it was okay because he owned the club. I told him thanks, but I'm good. She says Gerace later appeared with a woman under each arm and invited her to go upstairs with them and party. In my mind, that meant sex and drugs, she testified. Having no interest in either, she again politely declined. When she showed up for her third night of work, she says she was fired. Jurors also heard from Kevin Mishka, currently awaiting sentencing for possessing cocaine with intent to distribute. Now a cooperating witness, he testified about a time at Farrell's when he asked Jerace if he could score some coke there. He testified Jerace didn't say anything, but moments later, a dancer approached him with the sum for sale. Now, whether or not the prosecutors called that last witness uh, there who apparently wanted no part in what some other former dancers have referred to as ple Peter's playpen and had no intention of being manipulated in any way, and they wanted to demonstrate that, we really can't say. And that is because every time that they tried to get her to testify as to what she was told, as to why she was fired, the judge interrupted and said they couldn't go there because it would be hearsay. On your side in the newsroom, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News. All right, Dave.